up for Sharp Edge today. I'm your host, Melissa, joined by Matt and Slop. Guys, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Slop, you're coming to us from Star Wars World. I didn't know you were a big nerd. This is wild. Yeah, I, I didn't know either. I didn't know either. You learn something new every day. Well, what and are you that's doing? Well, Go ahead. I can't hear you. <laughs> well, happy Knicks Day. Today's the first day the Knicks are playing. That's not a thing. That's are they still in the NBA? Yeah, why, why are we having a day for a team that wasn't won? When was the last time they won a championship? Uh, it's been a long time. I don't even know. I was just a boy, I think. You had Maybe hair even younger. Then. Yeah, I had hair when they won last time. It's been a while. Yeah, we, we, can't, we can't have a national holiday. It's fine. But it is, it is the NBA day. The Knicks are oh, playing yeah. today. But uh, I'll be honest with you. I think we're talking football, aren't we? Unfortunately, we yes, are. I came here to talk football, guys. Yep. And we are talking about one of the most non-anticipated Thursday night matchups. The Arizona Cardinals are hey. taking on. What was that? They're, they're never good, the Thursday night. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know. Like, this one's better than the last two have been. Oh, better. Is that because it hasn't happened yet? Yeah, but I I think they got a pretty big bar to get over to be the worst game so far in Thursday Night Football. Because I think uh, I think the Broncos Colts oh, pretty yeah, much cool. like they ran away with that. I just like, nobody's like catching time, that. Every single time I say that, then something happens again, and then I'm stuck watching this game until the late hours of the night, and it's just awful experience. Yeah, yeah but last week sucked too, but still was even close to Denver and um, the Colts. You know what I mean? Like, like you really – I mean, it's got to be horrible. I, mean, I don't think the Saints and Cardinals have it in them. All right. Well, I, don't. I hope you're right because the Cardinals are slight favorites at minus two and a half at most books. You can find the minus two at some. And the total is of 45. So, unders have been the move in Thursday night. So what do you guys got for us? I'll start with Slop. All right, so I don't really like anything right now, but here, it's not my fault, though, because we don't know a lot about the Saints, so we're not getting sides, or I'm sorry, uh, any player props. But then on the Cardinals side, we're not getting any player props either because uh, Hopkins is coming back, Robbie Anderson, they're not really sure how he's going to fit in. I don't think they've said that Hollywood Brown's out yet, and I, but I think he is, obviously, if they signed Anderson. So there's a lot we don't know. But what we do know is that Alvin Kamara is filthy, and he will be playing – Michael Thomas probably won't be playing. Maybe not Jarvis Landry either. I think Adam Troutman, the tight end, is also going to be done. Like, I'm not sure what happened to him, but if you saw Sunday, he was in motion and he just kind of fell down. Like, and I haven't seen any reports yet, but all I know is he hasn't practiced and I don't think he's playing. So it, that leaves like only a couple of guys to throw to. Even if Chris Olave plays, I think, I think Kamara gets over four and a half receptions. That's plus 120 at DraftKings. That's tough to do like you don't want to you don't want to take a guy to get five receptions in a game or more but i mean if you're gonna do it it's kamara he's done it the last two games even if dalton plays it, it doesn't matter because dalton did play the last two i don't think um james is gonna be in the game that's all i got you know what i mean I, I, you almost have to do it all right i love it yeah we don't know a lot about a lot of players who are going to be in and out on either side of the ball so i think i'm, I'm sure we'll learn more by it tomorrow and there will be more lines out but until then matt make your pick of the week of the week right. of well, yeah, this, this game this game is kind of a mystery like you guys alluded to i don't even know who's going to play quarterback for the mm -hmm. saints it could, it could be Taysom hill i mean that's possible yeah <laughs> And you could start him as a tight end in fantasy football, which is mixed. Which is fun. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be cool. But I'm, I'm going to go with the Cardinals here, minus two. It's still two on DraftKings and Barstool. I just saw on FanDuel that it's two and a half. So I guess it depends where we're looking. So it'll probably go up. I think the, the lines um, have moved kind of back and forth. But the Cardinals are they are due, you know, for a good game. I, they, they really haven't had a game this season where – um, I've been super impressed with them. But on the other end, they've kind of been in every game. Really, the only game that they got blown out was the uh, Chiefs game. Other than that, all one-possession games except last week against Seattle, which was just a weird game they lost by 10. But they've been in a lot of games. Um, with the same status of, like, possibly – like, it's a legitimate chance Hill starts in, in this game. I have no idea how the Saints are going to, like, score a lot of points in this spot. Um, I think they have a good defense, but I think Arizona's offense should be able to put up – enough points it's not gonna be a fun game to watch it's gonna be up no, it's gonna suck it's gonna be bad but i think the cardinals 
hold hold the upper upper hand here. It's like who sucks less. So I think the Cardinals probably yeah. suck less. At home yeah, too. If you don't want it to suck that bad, just bet on it and on top of that, pick the right side. So there's exactly. that. Right. Yeah. I, they should come through. If you want to go money line, because maybe they'll win by like one, and it'll just make everyone sad. Do that, but I, I think they'll win by two. I think they can do that. So I'm gonna go. Let's try it. Yeah. So we're we're gonna trust Kyler. Hopefully, no video games came out this week, and he, he's focused. <laughs> they on- came out last week. Call of Duty, okay. and they got beat by the Seahawks. So I, the Call of Duty narratives is still alive and well. All right. So maybe he's PGA over. Game came out. I don't know if Kyler plays PJ on his Xbox. And he's rich. He has Xbox wherever he goes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess there's always a game coming out, right? There yeah. always is. <laughs> well, More guys. He has multiple Alex. Xboxes. Oh, yeah. He probably has one at each uh, location he goes to. Yeah. yeah, he has like a guy that brings in and sets it up for him. Too, I, bet. Xbox guy. Yeah. I mean, I would. If, I, if, I was, if I'm just signed a $240 million contract, I got Xbox wherever I want to go. Yes. Xbox, you know what I mean? PlayStation, whatever you want. Kyler. Yeah, I got whatever I need, and, and I got a guy to hook it up for me too. It all comes in one if if you're lucky, if you know the right guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, guys. As for me, I'm kind of going on the same fence as both of you. I think this is going to be a pretty low scoring game. I do think I would agree with Matt on the Cardinals line there, but the Cardinals have held their last four opponents to 20 points or fewer. 21 and a half when we don't even know who is going to be playing QB for this team, I think is a very reasonable bet. 20 and it's minus 110. So I like that. I I actually under. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I was all over the over and then I started looking through game scripts or I'm sorry, uh, game logs. And I was like, gosh, like that's the way the wrong side. It's definitely the under is the right side. They don't really screw. They, it's, a lot of bad offense. I see 21 and a half. I get excited. So I'm like, all right, they're, they're trying to trick us. And, like, you know I mean? They're going to score 24 at least. And then you start looking, like, dude, they're not going to score 24. I don't no see chance. how they're even capable of yeah. doing that. It's going to take, like, a kick return, a pick six. Like, you're, you're going to need all kinds of wild stuff to happen. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I it's Thursday night football, so I, I'm Never assuming. Had. Nothing wild happened on Thursday night. That's the most, like, tame football games you'll ever see. They just – they suck. That's why I'm glad we have NBA back, though, guys. Yes, we do. We sure do. Thank God. So make sure you guys watch my Knicks tonight if you want to have some fun. Bet the money line. Mitch. Uh, You already saw Mitch. uh, 10 plus points. I think it was plus 130 something. I was like, wow. Is it too early to go, Mitch? I was going to say, I forgot about your love of Mitch. I'm so glad the Knicks are back. Wait, the next I don't think it's too early to go Mitch 10 plus. I mean, because they, they kind of dogged him out a little bit. They gave him seven and a half for his, uh, his point total. And like immediately, I got kind of mad about that. Just because, I mean, like he's at least eight and a half, nine and a half. But I mean, you can't disrespect a guy like that. But, <laughs> Disrespectful on all yeah. ends of the That's Yeah, it's crap. I'm going to add a pick. I'm going to go Grizzlies minus four. I don't really. I'm, was- I'm going to throw it out later. I'm sure. I, I, got, a, I got a lot to do today, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, you're busy. You got a lot yeah. of You're in another Some galaxy kind of right now. So. I'm literally, I trust me, more ways than one. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, guys, we got two minus uh, 110 picks, and we've got Slops plus 120 pick. If we Thank were God. Parlay, if we were to parlay these odds, what do you think we'd get? Uh, go uh, ahead, Matt. You're first. As usual. I'm doing some math. I'll you're, say you're the leadoff guy. Yeah, that's, this is my role. I'll say 541. All right, I'm going to go 565. I'm going to go 530. All right, let's see what we got here. Go 570, watch. Oh, oh I win. <laughs> How is that over 600? I, see, I'm, I, I got to go back and do, like, math class again or something. I got to do odds classes. That's what you got to do. That's well, awesome. I mean, it's, it's, it's math, Melissa. But yeah, but odds classes would be great too. I just don't understand how like You're that like, those numbers add up to that. Yeah, I feel like I should because it's literally like addition and subtraction. Well, I mean, I'll take a plus one hundred parlay. <laughs> it's just yeah, I threw that plus one twenty in there. It was all you. That's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, that got that, the multiplier. Really got everything going. 
Well, guys, we are going to make this episode short and sweet, and we will see you guys on Friday. Oh, by the way, this is our 85th episode. We wow. Come a long way, guys. Wow. I can't believe we still have jobs. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, to me, you know what I mean? Says without being fired is good. That is awesome. Like, hats off to us. Uh-huh. Yeah, congrats to us. <laughs> yeah. Congrats to us. Bob is celebrating right now at Disney World. So there I'm going to go celebrate. <laughs> All right, guys. For Odd Trigger, I am your host, Melissa, joined by Matt and Slop, the sharpest of better. This has been another episode of Sharp Pets today.